Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to write ionic equations. I must say at this point, if you haven't already seen them, you must watch my videos on writing ionic formulas and also reduction and oxidation in terms of electrons. If you've seen those, this video will make a lot more sense. So let's have a look at an example. Use the following symbol equation to write that ionic equation. And step one is to write the ions for the aqueous substances. They're the ones with the little AQ state symbol after them. Solids, liquids and gases stay the same. So the Mg is a solid, so that stays the same. And in CuCl2, we've got Cu2 plus ions. And we've also got two Cl minus ions. Chloride is in group seven, so it's a one minus, remember. And then the next aqueous formula we come across is MgCl2. So we write the ions for that, Mg2 plus and two Cl minus ions. And the Cu stays the same because that's a solid. Step two is to cross out the spectator ions. These are ions that don't change from before the arrow to after the arrow. So during the reaction, they don't change. And we can see in this equation, it's the Cl minus that are the same on both sides. So we can cross those out. Step three is to rewrite the equation without the spectator ions. And that is our ionic equation finished. Now, sometimes you also get asked about which species are being reduced and which are being oxidized. So let's have a look at that. So in this example, first thing I'll do is pick one of the species, in this case, magnesium, and I'm going to write the oxidation numbers underneath. So Mg is an element, so that's going to be zero. And the two plus ion has an oxidation number of plus two, same as the ion's charge. So we can see here the oxidation number is increasing. So the magnesium is oxidized. Now, if the question says, how do we know it's oxidized? We need to answer in terms of electrons. So remember oil rig oxidation is loss of electrons. So that means that the magnesium must have lost electrons to become a magnesium ion. Let's look at the other species, the copper, and it starts off with a plus two oxidation number and it goes down to zero. So the number's reducing or decreasing, so copper has been reduced. And if the question asks what has happened to the electrons, remember oil rig, reduction is gain, so the copper ions must have gained electrons. Let's look at another example. Once again, step one is to write the ions for the aqueous substances. So in Ki, we've got two K plus ions and we've got two I minus ions. That's the aqueous substance on the left. The Br2 stays the same as it's a liquid. And then on the right, we've got two K plus and two Br minus ions as that is the aqueous substance. And the I2 stays the same as that is a solid. We then cross out the spectator ions. In this case, it's the 2K plus that don't change. And then we rewrite the equation. And there we have our ionic equation. Once again, it might ask us which species is oxidized and which species is reduced. So we'll pick a species, in this case, the iodine, and we'll write the oxidation numbers underneath. We can see here it's going from minus one to zero. So the number's increasing. If the oxidation number is increasing, it's been oxidized. And if the question asks to talk in terms of electrons, remember oxidation is loss, so it must have lost electrons. The other species, the bromine, has gone from zero oxidation number to a minus one, so that's reduced. So bromine is reduced as the number has reduced and reduction is gain. So bromine must have gained electrons. Here's example three. So once again, we'll try and write the ionic equation from it. So the first thing we do is rewrite it again with the ions for the aqueous substances showing and solids, liquids, gases stay the same. So the zinc sulfate turns into Zn2 plus and SO4 2 minus. The magnesium stays as MgS. And on the right hand side, 
We've then got Mg2 plus and SO42 minus in the aqueous substance and the Zn stays as it is as that's a solid. Step two, cross out the spectator ions, which in this case is the SO42 minus the sulfate ions. And then rewrite the equation. And this is the ionic equation that we end up with. If the question then goes on to ask which species has been oxidized and which has been reduced, we write the oxidation numbers underneath. So we can see here magnesium's oxidation number has increased, so it's been oxidized. And in terms of electrons, that means it's lost electrons. Oil rig oxidation is lost of electrons. The zinc has its oxidation number reduced or decreased. So zinc has been reduced. And from oil rig, we know reduction is gain of electrons. So it must have gained electrons. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and also subscribe if you can, please. Thank you for watching.